Hi, good afternoon. My name's Colette Assault. I'm a registered acupuncturist and member of the British Acupuncture Council. I'd like to introduce my colleague, Leanne Aquilena, fellow acupuncturist, researcher and best-selling author. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Colette. So today we're going to open up a conversation about acupuncture and IVF. We know acupuncture is a very popular treatment to have with many clinics recommending acupuncture to their patients. Acupuncture is indicated that it may be helpful to um, improve blood flow to the reproductive organs, um, alleviate stress and anxiety, improve the endometrial lining, um, and improve um, IVF outcomes, as well as reducing inflammation and pain. Leanne um, undertook research for the British Acupuncture Council alongside Mark Bovey, and I'm delighted to say she's going to share some information and chat to us about her research on acupuncture and IVF. Yeah, hi Colette. Yeah, um, Mark Bovey, the research manager for the British Acupuncture Council, he contacted me and um, he asked me, could I please produce a fact sheet on acupuncture for IVF? When I looked into the information, I realized that, you know, the research that we have is really quite complex. So instead, I decided to produce a research resource for healthcare professionals and for researchers. Okay, and it's absolutely wonderful research. Um, and you talk in the research about the um, stress and anxiety and how acupuncture can help women undergoing the IVF cycle, IVF. Yeah, so we found that acupuncture may be a, a suitable treatment option for people who are experiencing anxiety and stress and undergoing fertility treatment. Um, what I did, uh, Colette, is I critically appraised the systematic reviews and meta-analyses on the topic. I used like a valid tool to assess the risk of bias of the systematic reviews. And our findings were that acupuncture has a treatment effect. Acupuncture was shown to improve the clinical pregnancy rates and birth rates for women undergoing IVF. It's really important to understand that this research is um, not conclusive and that we need to now start designing research in a particular type of way. In the brief, I also outline guidelines for researchers who are interested in developing research on the topic in the future. So interesting. And you also talk about in the research the dose dependency of acupuncture and how it's important to have acupuncture a little bit ahead of the IVF cycle. Yeah, our research found that the significant effect was present when acupuncture was conducted at various time points. And we have a randomized controlled trial that also indicates that acupuncture is dose dependent too. Okay, and um, so we can say that acupuncture is shown that it is a support in the IVF cycle. How does acupuncture work? Well, basically, acupuncture works on the brain. We know that um, through research, MRI scanners show us that um, when a patient is having acupuncture, a very um, subtle change occurs in the brain, which then influences the sympathetic or the fight or flight stressed out part of the nervous system, which basically promotes, um, promotes relaxation. And we know that IVF can be a roller coaster of emotions and stressful. Um, Leanne, in her, in her research, has also looked into the emotional impact of subfertility um, on women. Yeah, Colette, thank you. When I was in Europe um, uh, doing some opening speeches for medical professionals, doctors that do acupuncture for IVF. And part of my work there was just to kind of outline that, you know, by the time somebody starts um, IVF treatment, they're highly likely maybe to be suffering from anxiety. Um, and this is just a normal response for them coping with their fertility journey so far. In my opinion, um, subfertility and fertility treatment should not be classified as a medical condition only. 
it's a chronic illness, there is a disability and an impairment, um, there are fluctuation and uncertain outcomes, and we lose the natural ability to be able to reproduce on our own. There's also isolation, people may withdraw from social activities, and it's a frustrating condition. Absolutely, it certainly is. And um, your research has just been incredible to help um, advance our uh, professional expertise in this area. In fact, I'd just like to um, let everyone know that Leanne has written this wonderful book, um, co-authored it, and it's called Acupuncture for IVF and Assisted Reproduction. And it's used by acupuncturists worldwide um, in the treatment of uh, fertility and IVF support. Um, what would you say is your favorite acupuncture point, Leanne, or one of the most um, common acupuncture points you use with your patients? Um, wow, Colette, you've been in practice, what, 23 years, specializing in the, the subject. I think patients like to have points that help them to feel better and to sleep and to reduce their anxiety. And a lot of these points, some of them have been used in research, but there's some points on here on the wrist and then some points around here and really favorite points are points like ying tang which which go here it's really important to point out colette that um, research shows that acupuncture is comparable in general for the treatment of severe to moderate anxiety and i really feel that acupuncture um, should be a treatment option for patients Absolutely. Um, and as a holistic therapy, it very much focuses on the um, mind and body together. So focusing on the emotions as well, which makes it um, a great uh, therapy integrated with um, a medical intervention such as IVF. And it's not until people start to recognize, um, you know, the definition of subfertility is failure to uh, conceive after one or two years of regular um, unprotected sexual intercourse. Um, but it's an extremely um, an, an anticipated uh, event and it's a disruptive event in people's lives. When we start to understand that uh, patients do suffer, for example, Colette, 86% of patients were found to have anxiety and around 40% of these in the extreme form, that is increased anxiety levels with obsessions. This is a natural way, it's, our, it's an automatic subconscious way of our bodies trying to cope. Um, that unless we have this shared understanding, the appropriate support for people, um, you know, it will not happen. We need to understand that it's really important to support people with a range of healthcare options during their IVF process. And that's why research is so um, important and um, compelling. So to conclude, um, or we, we can say that we know that acupuncture is um, beneficial to support IVF patients and the importance of acupuncture. But another question um, people probably ask a lot of is, is acupuncture safe? We know acupuncture is very safe as long as you see a qualified professional. The British Acupuncture Council is the UK's leading regulatory body of acupuncturists with all members degree level trained or above, um, observing strict codes of safe practice and professional conduct. All members are listed on an accredited register um, and it is actually suggested to, when seeking a, an acupuncturist, to choose a professional on an accredited register. Both myself and Leanne have roles um, at the British Acupuncture Council. Leanne is on the board of directors. So I'm keen to hear your view on the uh, safety of acupuncture in the UK, Leanne. Yes, Colette, you outlined that so wonderfully. Um, in the UK, acupuncture is not regulated. It's not regulated by law. So therefore, the... Um, best thing to do is to make sure that you see an acupuncturist that is on an accredited register and the professional standards authority they oversee health and care occupations that are by law 
regulated and those that are not by law regulated. So if you seek an acupuncturist who is degree trained or equivalent or more, and is a member of the British Acupuncture Council, you can be assured that the PSA has given that council, that organisation, the quality mark for good standards. Absolutely. And um, that is just so important today um, when acupuncture has become so popular. Um, so I would like to thank Leanne very much for coming in and sharing um, her experience on acupuncture and IVF and her research. Thanks very much, Leanne. Thank you, Colette. Thanks for having me. And um, when choosing an acupuncturist, please go to the British Acupuncture Council website, which can be found at www.acupuncture.org. Thanks very much for listening to us today.